What's up guys, welcome back to the TV Electric channel. Today we're doing a how-to video for installing a new rear brake on any E-Ride Pro bike. So this applies to the Pro S, Pro SS 2.0, the Pro SS 3.0, and the SR. Specifically, we have a 3.0 bike behind me that we're gonna walk you guys through the entire process. It's kind of a lot of steps to install a new rear brake. And so we're gonna show you what to remove, how to take it apart, and then how to put it back together at the same time. If you guys found this video helpful after watching it, please hit that subscribe button. It really lets us know that you guys appreciate these videos and lets us know that we should make more of them. This channel is all about how-to guides for fixing and working on, showing new parts for e-motos. Let's dive right in. First things first, we're gonna remove our battery. This just gives us more room to work. If you have a breaker on your bike, flip the breaker, unplug your comms port, and unplug your battery connector, and then lift your battery up out of the way. And for now, you can just close your lid, put your key back in its slot, and we're gonna go down to the bottom of the bike. Next up, we're gonna remove our skid plate. We've got one bolt right here, one bolt right here. And then the same on the other side. Skid plate out of the way. Whenever we take a part off this bike, you're gonna put the bolts right with that part and set it to the side so you don't lose those bolts. Next up, it's time to cut some zip ties. We're gonna remove our face plate, and then we're gonna trace our rear brake wire down the side of the bike here, cutting any zip ties that are holding it in place. Here is our brake hose. We'll trace it down. Looks like it goes right there. We'll need an Allen wrench to pull off this little clip right here, and then we'll use an Allen wrench to pull off this little clip, and then we're gonna cut this zip tie. This top one is a three millimeter. We'll set that to the side. We're gonna have to put this back together with our new brake line. This top one up here is really hard to get an Allen wrench to. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the fender. Most fenders are a four millimeter Allen to remove. There should be three bolts underneath. Fender off, bolts in fender, set it to the side. This one is also a three millimeter Allen. Reach it up in there. Pop that off just like that. Take it out, pull our brake line out. We'll just leave this one waiting for our new line. I'm just gonna actually put it back in. Just a couple of threads so we don't lose it. Cut our last zip tie. Here's our brake line. So it's going into here, right? We gotta figure out how to get it from here to here. Now we're at the back of the bike, we're gonna loosen up the brake here so when it's ready to come out, we can just take it all out. Should have two five millimeter Allen bolts right here. Mine were already loosened up. We're gonna loosen both those off, take them out, save them, and pull this off of the rotor. Next up, we have our hose mount right here. Four millimeter Allen. Loosen that off, pull our bolt out. It's kind of a tight fit on this one. There we go, pull that off, set that aside. Next up, we need to remove this back plastic piece. There's these two Allens right here and hiding behind this pillar. And then on the other side, there is two Phillips head screws. So we're gonna pull all four of those out and take that panel out. Out. This one's tight fit. Take a longer screwdriver would be better. Perfect. Okay, both those are out. All right, let's pull that piece out. You should have two Allens, two Phillip head screws. Next up, we have to remove this bottom battery tray. Now, this one's a little tricky. You actually have to peel up the foam on the bottom of this tray to get to the screws to unscrew them so that you can pull the plastic part up. Sometimes the foam comes up easy, sometimes it doesn't. All 
All right, I know it's not the cleanest setup, but we got a bolt there, bolt there, and bolt right there to start. I think there's only three. These are three millimeter Allens. All right, I think we've got one more up here. Okay guys, time for the next fun part. Now that we've got those five out, we gotta go underneath the front right here. This is our DC converter. We got two Phillips little screws that are holding this on, one on each side. We gotta remove both of those so we can get this out of the way. One out. Two out. DC converter out of the way. And just hang right there. All right, I'm gonna try to remove this with one hand. It should come all up. All right, guys, we found one more bolt under here. So underneath the foam, there should be four. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna pull that out and we're gonna be good to go. All right, let's get this plate out. Should just lift out, but there is still something under here, right here. This is our tip over sensor. It's still connected, so we just have to be a little careful there. We're just trying to get this out of the way enough so we can fit the brake underneath it. Okay, now we got our plastic tray pushed out of the way here. In here is our brake line. You guys can't see it, but if I grab it right here, it's kind of wedged right in this little crack. This is gonna be kind of hard to see, but here's our brake line coming in. This is the base plate of our battery that's metal and it gets wedged right here between the side and we can't pull it out. Oh, the heck, I tried to get it out and now it just came out. So now our brake line is free and now we can just trace it through the hole. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take this end. We're gonna push it all the way through. I'm gonna pull this out of the way. Should be able to fit it down right through there and out. So then what you would do, this brake line is now completely free. Now we just have to loosen our top triple clamp. We're gonna slide one of our legs down so that we can get our caliper out of here. Now this whole entire process is way more simple if you don't have to leave your brake all in one piece. But a lot of you guys will be taking off a full complete brake, whether you wanna sell it or keep it. And a lot of times brakes don't come with just a line. If you just have a line, you can trace it all the way through without taking nearly anything apart. But if you're trying to fit a big caliper through all these tight spaces, that's why you have to take stuff apart. I am installing a whole brake all together complete. I don't wanna cut the line or open it up because I don't wanna bleed it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just trace and put my new brake line right back in the frame, right where I just took out the old one so I know exactly how it goes back together right quickly. And then we're just gonna start putting stuff back together. And then I'm gonna come and remove the old line and put the new line in right here on the fork at the same time. All right, here is our new brake. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the same way that the other one came out. Run it back to the back. Trace it all the way back so that we just have just the right amount of line back here. I'm gonna go ahead and actually screw it onto the end here. Again, so we can know exactly how much brake line we need to pull through the tight spaces. Put this on, grab our two five millimeter Allen bolts. Okay, we got those in. While we're back here, at the back, I'm gonna just go ahead and put this little cable tie on. That, go right in there. And again, this is kind of nice to do because now we know exactly how much brake line we need back here. We're gonna go ahead and pull so we don't have any extra slack, just so it looks kind of perfect right here. Took out a little bit of slack, so we're nice and taut right there. And now we're gonna go ahead and tuck it in this little groove. See if I can show you guys. So right here, get down then there, you can tuck it back behind this metal bracket right here. And then the front is gonna go right there. I'm now gonna start putting everything back together. I'm not gonna do a how-to on this. You guys need to just need to do the reverse order of the entire process. We're gonna put the plastic plate back down, screw it back down. We're gonna put our DC converter back on in, and we're gonna put the back plastic piece right here on, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, you should have most of the bike buttoned up now. We got a rear brake mounted up. 
lined in right here. We got our battery back in, our battery trays are all back in, our skid plate is back on. As you can see, we got two brakes hanging out the bottom here, our old one and our new one. Last up, we need to route our brake lines through the triple clamp here. So we're gonna remove our front wheel so we can pull one of the legs out. Not all forks or axles are the same, but most of them are gonna have pinch bolts just like this. We're gonna loosen these four, two on each side. We're gonna loosen our axle nut. In this case, it's an eight mil Allen wrench. We're gonna loosen that off. Pull this guy off. And then the helpful thing for me is sometimes to put a flathead Allen wrench in there. And just pop your axle out. Sometimes they get kind of stuck. Pull that out, pull your wheel out. Now you're gonna loosen this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt, and any clamps that are holding brake lines such as this so they're out of the way. I've actually already loosened this, so watch this. My leg just drops right out of the way, and I can grab my old brake line, pull it through. Now it's out of the way. I'm gonna grab my new brake line and put it through. It doesn't really matter where it goes after that point. We just wanna get it through this gap right here. And then we're gonna push this leg back up. Be a little snug sometimes. Come on. Once you've got your leg slid back up, your brake line in, make sure to tighten up that Allen up here and the two down here. And then I just went ahead and mounted up the new brake on the brake lever. You want the rear behind the front. So this is our front right here. This is our rear going right through there. And now we need to just put our extra clips on here. So the one's gonna go right there and one's gonna go right up here, mounted on to hold this brake line nice and snug out of the way of everything. And then we're just gonna put our front wheel back in. All right, guys, I got my bike all assembled and back together. Hopefully you guys were able to do the reverse process that I showed you and get your bike back together as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you appreciated this video and found it helpful, please hit that subscribe button. We have a ton more videos that are how-to style just like this. They're gonna help you out coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next video. See ya.